We have got breaking news tonight. The chairman of the House Judiciary Committee has threatened to have Karl Rove arrested at issue. Whether Rove will testify about the prosecution of Alabama's former Democratic Governor Don Siegelman. What role, if any, did Rove play in bringing down the popular Democrat? Thus far, Rove has refused to testify, and the committee has given him another week, or they say they'll subpoena him. If he still refuses, Politico.com reporting that John Conyers, chairman of the Judiciary Committee, said today, quote, We'll do what any self-respecting committee would do. We'd hold him in contempt. Either that or go and have him arrested. We're closing in on Rove, Conyers said. Joining us now is former Judge Catherine Cryer. Catherine, the Congress sounds to be getting very serious about this. It's about time. Tell me why. I, I'm serious because we've got, whether it was the Harriet Myers, there have been several individuals, if you go back throughout this Bush administration, that haven't responded. Now they've got Karl Rove in, in the Siegelman affair, and he has refused repeated offers for compromise to give him an opportunity to testify. And it's finally this, the point where you say either this third branch has power or it has been completely emasculated. Because up to now what they've been saying is we'd like you to come in voluntarily uh, and testify. So far he's been saying we'll answer questions in writing, mm -hmm. we'll come in and talk, but there can't be a transcript, can't not, be under oath. not under oath, etc. And now it sounds like Congress is getting a little tired of it. This is Congressman Wexler, also a member of this committee, on this program last night. And if he refuses to honor the subpoena, then the full House of Representatives must hold Mr. Rove in contempt of Congress. And then we must ask the Attorney General to enforce the contempt of Congress subpoena or citation. Talking about inherent contempt, what does that mean? Well, here's the way this plays out. If the full House uh, issues the contempt citation, then it's supposed to go to the Department of Justice. And they're supposed to take it to a grand jury, they're supposed to enforce this. Well, they've already, the Bush administration says, no, our, through executive authority, we're saying privilege, they're not going to enforce it. You might then try the federal courts. The federal courts are liable to say it's a political question. But the Constitution gives Congress the inherent power to issue contempt and then to prosecute on this. On their own. They can send the sergeant at arms out into the countryside, arrest, haul somebody in, and in days gone by, used to literally hold them in the basement of Congress in an impromptu jail, and then they could have a trial. That is still their power today. Uh, unlikely to happen here, but it does sound like they're, they're getting ready to move forward with something here. Well, unlikely to happen in the sense that they might not jail them in the basement any longer. But at this point in time, if you look at it, the DOJ has already basically said, we're not going to do what we're supposed to do. They, they must take it to a grand jury. So no, executive privilege, we're not going to act. But the problem the courts probably won't, so it will be. If, they, if the full Congress yeah. asserts, if the full House votes, then they will have to try this case themselves, which means issue the arrest warrant and try them. Because, case. again, final question on this, executive privilege, but Karl Rove has said that he didn't talk to anyone in the White House about it, so what's the potential executive privilege? Well, he's making the claim, and that assertion I don't think will go anywhere. It might be something a federal court will, will go with, but right now the, de the Department of Justice has given no indication that they will, that they will go out and, and serve those Are subpoenas issued by Congress. Conyers is using language like arrested? At this point, no. I'm, I'm a big rule of law. This has nothing to do with politics for me. It is respecting the rule of law, yeah. regardless of Democrat or Republican. And at this point in time, if they don't show backbone, then there yeah. are not three branches of government in this country. And we should say again, the subpoena has not been issued yet. So we shall see what happens if and when uh, the subpoena is issued. Um, and uh, we'll continue to follow this case. Catherine Cryer, you're going to stay with us.